my God. <laughs> this is Izzy, a six-month-old Shih Tzu. She's a typical example of a long-haired breed. She's about to have a makeover in the hands of a real expert. Yitka Krizova is one of Europe's top dog groomers. Sasha is enjoying herself. <laughs> Originally from Slovakia, she now lives and works in Britain. She's been showing and grooming dogs for 20 years and has won an impressive array of awards. British Groomer of the Year Award 2006, Eurogroom winner three times in a row, and in 2011, she clipped and snipped her way to the World Championships as a member of Groom Team England. Yitka's sharing her champion tips and techniques to help you keep your dog in pristine condition. A long, lavish coat like this won't stay that way unless you're prepared to groom your dog properly. Other breeds with coats like Izzy's include the Bearded Collie, Lhasa Apso, Maltese and Yorkshire Terrier. So the grooming techniques are very similar. If we brush this coat regularly, we can keep it beautiful and long. After bathing and tile drying your dog, it's a good idea to use leave-in conditioner to make removing any tangles easier. If you want to keep your dog in tip-top condition, Yitka recommends visiting a professional groomer every four to six weeks. In between times, you should bath your dog once a week and brush and comb her every day if you can. If this coat is not brushed on a regular basis, it can get tangled very easily. Matted coat is uncomfortable for a dog. It can cause skin irritation and skin inflammation. Regular grooming is vital for dogs with long coats. If the fur gets matted, it may have to be shaved off. It can take up to a year for it to grow back. To finish off the drying process, Yitka is using a professional dryer for dogs, but any home hair dryer will do. Just remember to keep it on a low heat and don't hold it too close to the dog's body. I'm using soft slicker brush. The technique I'm using is called line brushing. With this technique, we'll make sure the coat gets brushed right down to the skin. Line brushing is a precise process that involves pulling the dog's hair apart and brushing the undercoat. Yitka divides Izzy's coat into sections and brushes small areas at a time, working in the direction of the hair. When you brush the face, you have to be extra careful around eyes and nose. Protect the eye with your finger and brush around, then comb. When Yitka has finished brushing and drying, she combs the coat through to ensure there are no more tangles. Izzy's owner has chosen to keep her dog's coat in a traditional long-haired style. Other owners may find it more manageable to have the coat trimmed short. Long hair breeds have hairy feet. We can see the hair between parts. Long hair can collect dirt and debris. This is why we remove them with small scissors. This is something you can do at home. Grooming should be enjoyable for both you and your dog. Start early when your dog is a puppy. Buy a soft brush and comb and get her used to short grooming sessions. Izzy is now finished. This whole procedure took about an hour and should be done at least once a week. If you get long hair breed, you have to be prepared to put a lot of effort into bathing and brushing your dog. As well as regular brushing, it's important to trim your dog's nails every four to six weeks and to check her ears for infection weekly.